हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ओपाम आज वेन ब्रिज असिलेटर लेट्स वेगेन वेन ब्रिज असिलेटर इज ए स्टैंडार्ड असिलेटर सर्किट फॉर ऑल फ्रिक्वेंसीज and that frequency range around 10 hertz to about 1 megahertz as uh, it's a oscillator so it is the combination of amplifier plus feedback network in that type of uh, when we say oscillator we can create by using an op amp instead of uh, general amplifier we use an op amp and in case of feedback network we use wen bridge arrangement so the construction of wen bridge oscillator by using an op amp the wen bridge arrangement in that term one register having resistance r1 this am register having resistance r2 another two amps are filled with the combination of resistors and capacitors one am is the combination of resistor plus capacitor rc in series and another one arm is the combination of resistor and capacitors with parallel the register capacitor next an op amp it has two terminal positive and negative a potential v1 potential v2 and output you obtain भिओ दिस एंड इज कनेक्टेड टू दैट ऑफ नेगेटिव टर्मिनल and the positive terminal connected that one grounded this end as the feedback network to the output of that of op amp okay in order to obtain the sustained oscillations at output that when bridge arrangement doesn't balanced means it is should be unbalanced therefore 
at output we obtained a sustained type of oscillation. If uh, that when this arrangement is uh, balanced, then what happened? The potential difference in between the terminals of that of op amp will be zero in balancing situation. Means the potential at that end is same as the potential on this end. So the potential difference in between these terminals will be zero when that when bridge arrangement is balanced and during that balanced situation there will be no such sustained type oscillations we obtained at output. To obtain sustained type oscillations that when bridge ar arrangement must be unbalanced. Here O pump and that when bridge arrangement we call the feedback network when bridge. This is the feedback network. When bridge and the arrangement of uh, R and C parallel as well as uh, series responsible for the frequency response of that oscillator. As we know the capacitive reactance Xc is uh, inversely proportional to that of frequency. If frequency is high then the capacitive reactance will be low. If the frequency is low then the capacitive reactance is high. So, during high frequency as well as the low frequency that type of uh, arrangement to the frequency response does not hold good. For this reason there will be a frequency range that frequency is called the resonant frequency through which that uh, oscillator responds good and that frequency range is around 10 hertz to about 1 megahertz. Now, we simplify that type of circuit arrangement in a simplified way the circuit arrangement as an op pump is used it has two terminal one is positive negative positive as non inverting terminal has potential v1 inverting terminal has potential v2 at output potential vo the signal we supply across that of non inverting terminal so the signal that is rc with series and rc with parallel. So, at non inverting terminal we supply the signal as C R with series next C R with parallel. So, C R with parallel that one is ground. We provide signal across that of non inverting terminal. Next in that of feedback arrangement it has a register and feedback resistance. that end is grounded. This is a simple non inverting amplifier circuit. We provide signal across that of non inverting end. 
from the top circuit arrangement this is the feedback resistance r1 feedback resistance here is the resistance r2 now that circuit arrangement can be simplified to this form as a non inverting op amp for that non inverting op amp as it is a non inverting op amp so the output voltage as it is a non inverting op amp so the open that is closed loop closed loop voltage gain is let a that is closed loop voltage gain a is equal to 1 plus feedback resistance r1 divided by r2 okay that will be the expression for closed loop voltage gain for a non inverting op amp now we mathematically show what will be the frequency response of that type of uh, oscillator to derive that uh, expression we have to assume that the bridge is balanced if the bridge is balanced balanced then the condition the ratio of these two resistances r1 by r2 is equal to the ratio of that resistance to this resistance so if that uh, bridge is balanced so r1 divided by r2 is equal to here this resistance to that resistance since r and c are connected in series so the equivalent uh, resistance of this uh, two as r plus 1 divided by j omega c for that of capacitive reactance next these two are connected in parallel so the equivalent resistance of this two r and c as r into 1 by j omega c whole divided by r plus 1 divided by j omega c where omega is the angular frequency angular frequency of oscillation therefore r1 by r2 is equal to r plus 1 by j omega c whole square divided by r divided by j omega c or r1 divided by r2 a plus b whole square formula a square plus b square as j square is equal to minus 1 minus 1 omega square c square plus 2r divided by j omega c whole divided by r divided by j omega c now that uh, denominator term 
is divided in all the three terms. So, R 1 divided by R 2 is equal to first that term R j R divided by j omega c R divided by j omega c cancel out. So, 2 plus in that term in these two terms that is j r square minus 1 omega square c square omega c omega c divided by r and equation number 1. Now, it has uh, two parts one is real another one is complex. Now, we equate it as real part as well as imaginary part equating the real part of uh, equation 1. Real part R 1 by R 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, R 1 is equal to 2 times of R 2 equation number 2. Next, equating imaginary parts on both sides of that equation number 1. Equating the imaginary parts of equation number 1. Imaginary part of that side nothing, this side imaginary parts as j is multiplied that one is the imaginary part that is r square minus 1 divided by omega square c square whole into omega c divided by r is equal to 0. Therefore, r square minus 1 divided by omega square c square is equal to 0 or r square is equal to 1 divided by omega square c square. So, omega square will be 1 divided by r square c square. Therefore, omega is equal to it is under root 1 divided by r c. As we know omega is equal to 2 pi nu or omega is equal to 2 pi nu 1 by r c where omega is equal to 2 pi nu as the nu is the frequency of oscillation frequency of oscillation. So, the frequency of oscillation nu is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi r c. This is the expression for frequency of oscillation of when bridge oscillator. Equation number 3. Next, as we say that the bridge is balanced since the bridge is balanced then what happened the voltages across the two lower arms must be equal must be equal look that figure here is the figure for balanced condition the potential at these two terminals will be same therefore 
तो पोटेंशियल भी वन इज इक्वल टू भी टू व्हाट इज दैट वैल्यू लुक यार भी आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू ए टाइम्स ऑफ भी इनपुट ए इज द क्लोज लूप वोल्टेज गेन देर फोर आज भी आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू ए टाइम्स ऑफ इनपुट वोल्टेज लेट ए टाइम्स ऑफ भी इनपुट एज भी वन और भी वन इज इक्वल टू भी नॉट डिवाइडेड बाय ए देर फोर भी नॉट इन प्लेस ऑफ ए भी नॉट डिवाइडेड बाय आर टू एल सी एम सो आर टू प्लस आर वन देर फोर भी वन इज इक्वल टू आर वन भी वन इज इक्वल टू आर टू डिवाइडेड बाय आर वन प्लस आर टू इंटू भी ओके देर फोर फॉर बैलांस सिचुएशन भी वन इज इक्वल टू भी टू दैट वैल्यू आज आर टू डिवाइडेड बाय आर वन प्लस आर टू ऑफ आउटपुट वोल्टेज दैट इज द इक्वल एंड सर्किट ऑफ दैट अरेंजमेंट फॉर बैलांस सिचुएशन द वोल्टेजेस On that two terminals are same, therefore the output voltage is equal to open loop voltage gain into input voltage a times of that of input voltage. That one of the input voltage V one and that expression of V one will be that much. Use that expression here. Equation number four. Now we calculate what be the value of R two divided by R one plus R two. As we know, R one is equal to two times of R two. We have already derived R one is. Two times of R two use that value in place of R one. Two times of R two plus R two is equal to R two divided by three R two R two R two cancelled out. That is one by three. So that is uh, R two divided by R one plus R two. Is equal to one by three. Now equation number four becomes. Therefore, equation four becomes voltage V one is equal to voltage V two is equal to V not divided by three. Now V not divided in each term, so V one divided by V not, V two divided by V not. Is equal to one by three. That is equation number five. This uh, equation is uh, derived by taking the condition 
when that uh, bridge is balanced, but uh, we have to obtain a sustained type of oscillation. For sustained type of oscillation, the bridge must be unbalanced. Unbalanced situation, the potential difference at uh, the terminals of that of op amp will be 0. Since V d is not equal to 0 for sustained oscillations. In balance situation, the potential difference in between these two terminals of that op amp will be 0 as the potential of each terminal will be same that not equal to 0 for sustained type of oscillations. Therefore, V d as V 1 minus V 2 which is not equal to 0. Therefore, as the difference not equal to 0, so that uh, term we taken the term as R 2 divided by R 1 plus R 2, this term is equal to 1 by 3. So, that term is taken less than 1 by 3 is taken to be less than 1 by 3. Let uh, we choose that value R 2 divided by R 1 plus R 2 1 by 3 minus 1 by delta phi as that value must be lesser than that of quantity 1 by 3. This is equation number let 6 where delta a number more than 3 more than 3. Therefore, as V 2 by V 0 V 2 by V 0 which is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by delta. As that condition is helpful to obtain sustained oscillation. Now, we mathematically show the feedback voltage the feedback voltage which is vd and the difference v1 minus v2 dividing v0 so vd minus v0 v1 sorry di dividing v0 on both sides v1 by v0 v2 by v0 or vd is equal to v1 by v0 1 by 3 v2 by v0 the 1 by 3 minus 1 by delta into V0 that V0 is multiplied then V D is equal to V0 times V0 times of 1 by delta equation number 7 at it is positive so, it is clear that it is 
clear that V D and V 0 are in same phase and the feedback fraction feedback fraction beta that is V D divided by V 0 which is equal to 1 by delta 1 by delta the feedback fraction beta is equal to 1 by delta next according to Barkhausen's criteria according to Barkhausen's criteria the product of amplification factor and the feedback fraction is equal to 1. Therefore, A into 1 by delta is equal to 1, A is equal to delta. Now, the feedback fraction and amplification factor is calculated by taking the Rackhausen's criteria. So, here with the help of this video lecture, we understand the concept of Wayne Bridge oscillator. What is Wayne Bridge oscillator? Its construction. As uh, that type of uh, oscillator is arranged uh, in such a way that that op amp does not provide any kind of phase shift, also that the circuit arrangement does not provide any kind of phase shift. So, overall uh, phase shift throughout that of entire loop will be 0, which is the condition for Brackhausen's criteria to obtain a sustained type of oscillation. The circuit is now simplified as it is a non-inverting op-amp, then it is open closed loop voltage gain to so the expression for output voltage if that uh, bridge is balanced then mathematically we show one of that uh, register is two times of another equating real part and imaginary parts we obtain the fre frequency of that oscillator for again for balancing situation this two potentials the terminal potentials of that of op amp will be same then but for sustained oscillation, the potential difference not equal to 0, but in balancing situation, the potential difference will be 0. Then we show that feedback voltage and it is often that it is satisfy the Barkhausen's criteria. So, from Wayne Bridge oscillator by using an op amp, we obtained a sustained oscillation. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up the session. Thank you.